Good afternoon, and as, as we're getting past the 50% point to harvest on these crops and, and hearing from producers, I, I, I got to tell you, I'm just in the camp that this corn crop is getting bigger. And, you know, I'm going to even make the argument that the bean crop is getting smaller. But, you know, when we sit here and we focus on corn, you know, I, I got to tell you, I, I think this final yield can push 190 bushel an acre. And I, I know right away you're like, well, wait a second. You know, how, how is this possible? What is going to go on? But just hear us out in here right now. Now on the corn side of it, over the last five years, our, our final yield has been just below trend these last five years. On the bean side of it, three out of the last five years have been below trend. So we're getting used to some disappointing crops as we move towards the end of the year and you get these final yields in. Now when we get to this year's crop and as we visit with producers, you know, a common thing we hear is, man, these beans are okay, but this corn crop is really good. Now we can get some areas of the far western corn belt, Nebraska, western Iowa, where there's some pretty good beans. But on the other hand, it seems like when I get to the heart of the corn belt, back into Illinois, Indiana, eastern Iowa, even Minnesota, average beans, but a really good corn crop. Now when we look at a corn and bean yield relationship over the last 15 years, that has been 3.5 bushels an acre of corn to one bushel an acre of soybeans. Now, if one years we've had record corn crops, that ratio can jump up a little bit. The last thing we're considering is some test plot data. I mean, that's open for everyone. And continually, you're seeing some pretty big corn yields out there that's consistent. Beans tend to be a little warm up and down. So those are, those are some reasons we think this corn crop's got to grow by how much that's to be debated, and maybe the bean crop gets a little bit smaller. Now let's look at this year's yields compared to where they were at last year. Last year we had a 50.6 bushel bean crop. This year the USDA's forecast is 53.1. That's up nearly 5%. On the other hand, the corn crop's forecasted at 183.8. That's up about 3.7%. If this corn crop is up like beans from last year, that gets us up just above a 186 corn crop. Now, when you look at record yields of the past, and what's kind of odd here is it always ends on years of four, 1994, 2004, 2014. Now, what does 2024 bring us? You can see the average jump in here has been anywhere from three and a half to 13% increase from where trends started at the beginning of the year. This just sets us up that if this corn crop continues to get bigger, it can get much more than any would possibly think. Now, as we wanna wrap things up here today, this is what it comes down to us. Either the corn crop is too small or the bean crop is too big. Now, if we use 3.6 bushels an acre of corn to one bushel an acre of soybeans, if the bean yield is really 53.1, we probably should have a corn crop above 190. Now, if the bean yield drops off to 51 bushels an acre, the USDA is probably pretty close at 183.6. Again, when we go back to those record corn yields, the yield has jumped from trend anywhere from 3.5 to 13.5%. That average jump is just over 9%. Now, if our final corn yield can be 5% above trend, that puts us right to 190. Now, we don't want to get too far out here saying we're guaranteeing 190 bushel corn crop, but we think that should be discussed. Now, is that really bearish to prices right now? I'd say probably not super bearish because we do have a great demand base, and that's where corn differs in beans. We just really question, especially the bean mark on soybeans. We just find it odd, though. Usually the media starts hyping things up. We just find it a bit strange that no one's been talking about 190 bushel corn yield quite yet. We're not saying we're getting there, but our bias is this corn crop is getting bigger. Any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Have a great day.